Hello and welcome to Season 2, Episode 3 of the Hidden Squared Talk Show. If you're new, which you're probably not, please be sure to subscribe, which is really annoying, but shameless self-promos, am I right? And follow our Instagrams. But whatever, I'm going to stop talking now, um, and we're going to get right into the video. So, everyone, this first segment is going to be on the reopening of pretty much everything, um, because everything got shut down, of course, because of COVID. But now, we're just going to talk a little bit on our thoughts for this reopening. Um, I think, as I, I'm sure Hayden does as well, that they're kind of jumping the gun. Don't you agree, Hayden? I agree. Yeah. You kind of sounded like a robot, no joke. But I think, um, like with drugs, they're going to have a relapse. Um, yeah. You know, that was a really good metaphor, I'm just saying. Um, for sure. I don't know that a metaphor is a cor- correct phrase, but okay. It's, it's going to relapse. Um, so we're just going to look at this first document. Um, it's about um, restaurants opening in Dallas. Now, so it doesn't necessarily um, directly relate with most of our viewers, but it's a good example. So, um, on April 27th, the Texas governor, Greg, blah, 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 um, he said that restaurants would be allowed to open their doors on May 1st. Um, so that's today as a recording, mm-hmm. but as many of these happened. restaurants aren't big enough for six foot table spacing, which is what they suggest. And there's no such thing as social distancing in a kitchen. Um, it is possible that chefs can wear masks, gloves, and other protective gear while working on the line, but shortages that across the country are making it very difficult to find personal protective equipment. And I think that this is going to be a repeating thing across America. Um, They keep saying that they have plenty of tests, they have plenty of um, stuff now, but does that really, is that going to help, you know? Just because Mm -hmm. you're tested doesn't mean you're going to live at all. That changes nothing. There aren't enough health inspectors to enforce the new rules set by the Texas um, government, you know? Right. So, Mm -hmm. there's, they're supposed to keep capacity at 25% of what it regularly is, but there isn't enough um, inspectors to enforce it. So, there's no real, it's kind of like, um, little crimes, you know. They, like jaywalking. Yeah, like there's no one that's going to enforce it. And also everyone does it. Yeah, so... I'm sure even cops do it. Yeah, um, well, it's kind of stupid just because... I don't... I, there's a lot of unnecessary laws, and... Yeah. I feel like with this, there's going to be tons more. Mm-hmm. Um... We just think they should, basically, we just think that they shouldn't, they could just wait, like, two or three more weeks, they'd be golden. Um. But I think, with some of the places that are, like, in Missouri, I don't think we're in that dangerous of territory reopening, but then you get travelers going in and coming out, and then, like, which we don't want. Yeah. Um, I think they're definitely jumping. And then another one, which I don't really understand the point on this, but um, it's it says service returning to their jobs will be forced to take serious pay cuts as revenues stay low because uh, they can't have as much people and in the restaurant, and they haven't had any revenue for you know the last month or two, mm-hmm. and so. But this isn't. This is kind of stupid because, um, like. 95% of all servers in the restaurant in- industry already are paid um, 
$2.13 an hour plus tips. But, um... The tip is the main way they get their money. But they're saying that that's gonna be... The... What and they're gonna much, resort to, but that's already something that's happening. Pretty much the so. tip is the source of their money. Like, they make much more off tip. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, and then this will also lead, I think, to the coming of the second peak of this coronavirus, okay? Mm-hmm. This is from the Boston Globe. Um, and of course, other breaking news is on Jeffrey Epstein's um, Harvard ties and everything. But, um, they kind of describe it as two different mountains. You know, you, when, whenever you see a mountain, it's not just one, you know, there's going to be two different, you know, summits or peaks mm-hmm. or whatever. And, um, we may be over the first bigger one, and we can't see the second one, and we're going, you know, we can go down it now. But then once we reach the bottom of the first one, we'll look we're up and we'll see that up. we're just going to have, yeah. So I feel like if we just stay on the... Um, if we just stay at the, the mountain, bottom, if we just stay at the or bottom, if we just, or stay on the if side, we just, if we just wait it out and just walk a little slower, maybe we'll see a different path, not resulting in us going right back up the same mountain. Yeah. Well, and then, yes, things are going down, but that they may just stopped. be because people don't want to go get tested and stuff like that, you know? Um,. I wouldn't want to be the person that has COVID on the street, you know? Right. So, I don't... I feel like they should take every all of their statistics with a grain of salt, you know? Because mm-hmm. it's not like numbers aren't are just completely stopping. It's still going up. It's just going up slower. Mm-hmm. You know, so we haven't necessarily reached the peak yet. Um, Which is why we can't even see the second one. Yeah, exactly. All this the is a really deep metaphor. Metaphors today. All um, the metaphors. So now we're just gonna go home. You know, we're gonna go back to Missouri, and we're gonna learn a little bit about that. So, as most people know, um, Missouri will ease COVID nineteen restrictions on May fourth, including ban on large gatherings. Now, I probably should have looked this up, but um, in Rala, there's um, an ordinance to stay home till May 11th, but I mm-hmm. don't know if that is overruled by the reopening. I don't think it is, because um, it's not like they're saying... Because in St. Louis, they're keeping their restrictions, or in Kansas City, they're keeping their restrictions. So, mm-hmm. this is all interesting, but I don't know. It's not like it was enforced before, really. Right. Um, but, um, this all started, if we want to remember, on March 21st. And, um, yes, local governments are still permitted to enact stricter parameters for Mm -hmm. businesses. Um, For example, stay-at-home orders in Kansas City and Jackson County remain in place until May 15th and will not be impacted by the governor's actions. So that tells me that in Rolla, it'll stay till May 11th, which kind of sucks. Which um, I'm going to basically sound like a total hypocrite now because I said one thing and I'm about to say another but we don't have any cases right now. So specifically Rala, I don't know why they're not just following what the governor has said, but okay, it's fine. Mm. Um, well, they um, put this ordinance into place um, April 30th, not April 30th, March 30th, I'm sorry. But um, it's th- once again, it's not like they're enforcing it. So yeah, so it doesn't and, even really um, matter. <laughs> like, um, most banks um, already have pull-up windows and stuff, but mm-hmm. 
many of them will be reopening their lobbies and stuff, but having um, way, way less employees and um, restrictions on how many people can be in there at once, you know. But that's pretty much all we have for mm -hmm. this reopening. I kind of think it's a little bit early, but we'll see. Um, but now we're going to go off to Hayden's bucket list. So this is a new segment that I'm doing with you guys. Um, it is basically just me talking about really interesting stuff that I would like to do in my life and that maybe some of you would like to do as well. Um, definitely not all of you on the first one. I'm probably the only one. This is on their bucket list, but run a marathon. I think that would be super cool to be able to say, yep, I ran 26 miles straight. Yeah. Um, and also, if you can run that far, like, that's also going to mean that you're in very good health. Now, obviously, I'm not expecting to be able to do this for a, an extended period of time. I mean, like, yeah. I probably won't be able to do this time, like, 30. <laughs> but maybe, like, somewhere between 20 and 30. Um, but I really would like to run a marathon. Um, not only for the being able to say I've done that, but I just like running, really. And honestly, my favorite part about running is the things you get to see. Like, on all the different courses that we run in cross country, every every course is different, you know? Yeah. You're running somewhere different every time. So it's just really interesting to just be out there and be... Just, just, all you're doing is just running and the only thing you're focused focused on this, the next corner you're about to turn. I just love it. Anyways, yeah. um, my second thing is fly first class because who wouldn't want to fly first class? Unless you're literally scared of flights, then who would not want to fly first class? I've flown out of country. I've been on two 14 hour flights. It was one on the way to India from Newark, New Jersey, and one on the way back. Interesting, but, interesting. Yeah, we flew from St. Louis to Newark, then from Newark to New Delhi, which is a place in India. Yeah. You What's, okay, probably, I, this is gonna sound really stupid, but what is the difference between Delhi and New Delhi? I don't exactly know. I'm pretty sure Delhi was... It's like how they they name a bunch of places, like there's New York, well, what was original York. I don't know what Delhi was first. All I know is that New Delhi is like the current capital of India, I believe. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much all I know. Flying first class is like, you basically get a chair that turns into a bed. There's only, like two people for per row. You pretty much only share a flight attendant with like four to six other people. It's really good stuff. Yeah. There are exclusive first class flight attendants. It's very different from flying economy, which is not bad. It's not like, well, I don't, crap, I don't remember how we flew. We were not in like the worst class. We were in the middle class. You're in the oh. middle section of the plane. It was literally divided into sections. There was first class. I'm pretty sure they had their own bathrooms as well. Mm -hmm. There was um, our class, which we shared bathrooms with the back, which I think was even tighter than what we were. But it was fine. I just really like to share first class because I'm pretty sure they also get their own fancy meals. Yes. Like, you get meals no matter where you sit on long flights like that. But, um... First class, I believe, gets bigger meals, fancier meals. Anywho, that's about all I have for bucket list.
on Halloween night, Will saw a sort of shadow. Maybe all this is happening for a reason. These are not nightmares. It's happening. And it all leads back to here. This thing. You said it was all in his head. And what have you done? Nothing. What is wrong with my boy? I don't understand. Well, I'm not. She was too. Just... <laughs> If anyone knows how to destroy this thing, it's Will. Oh my god. Don't you think it's weird how we only seem to hang out when the world's about to end? It's not like it was before, it's grown. It's Judgment Day. Which is why we need as much help as we can get. Almost here. You still have that bat? Bat? What bat? The one with the nails. As you just saw from the trailer, most likely if you didn't skip ahead, which I hope you didn't. You should watch the trailer. It'll refresh your memory. You Um, should just watch the show if you haven't. Yeah, you should honestly just watch the show if you haven't. But we're doing Stranger Things Season 2, a part of our Stranger Things series. Series? Um, We haven't yet posted the first episode. That was delicious. Yeah, we haven't posted the first episode or whatever for it. But... It's fine, but Stranger Things Season 2 was a very good season. Um, It had um, It was a delicate balance. It was a delicate balance, but it had less... um, I don't know how, how to say the word. It was less romantic than the other two seasons. And, um... And, it was and the romance that was there wasn't the stupid kitty stuff in this season, which was good. Yeah. It wasn't there like was a, Mike. Yeah, there's a lot less. Um, there's a lot more character development, I think. You know, mm-hmm. because there's because Eleven, you know, gets Hopper as like a dad figure, mm-hmm. and um, she finally has a father figure that isn't just using her for her. Yeah, and the boys, they're, you know, transferring, you know, they're going from being kids to teenagers and all of that kind of stuff. Um, And may I just say, this is a spoiler for season three, but I can't, I'll forget it if I don't say it. Mike is a freaking brat in season three. So true. So, so true. You used to get a hold. Um, Season one was just, I feel like it was very, um, It was just, I think it was better than season two. Season two just seemed a little bit, it seemed like knockoff season one. Even though they had way, a way bigger budget and mm-hmm. everything like that. I feel like it was a little bit of a knockoff. Like they were trying to replicate season one. Yeah. But I then, agree. but then in like season three, it's something, it's like a completely different problem with mm-hmm. like the same, with following the storyline, you know? Mm-hmm. Season 2 is really good, though. I'm not trying to be like, oh, I hated it. It was, a, it was really good. 
Um, it was a lot the less. The thing with season two, it was, it was a lot less it, gross than season yeah, three. Yeah, and, and for the most part, I feel like season two. Correct me if I'm wrong. The stuff that happened, I feel like. Also, everyone just became stronger because, well, in this season, correct me if I'm wrong, they were fighting like bunches and bunches of freaking demogorgons. Yeah, demodogs. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, they're not the same on power levels. Yeah. Um, I also like the introduction of the new character Max and her mm-hmm. brother Billy. That I think added a lot um, to it. I don't think it would have been the same. It would have. It wouldn't have been a good story. I don't think without any involvement like that. You know, even though it doesn't necessarily move the storyline along a whole ton or the plot, it just yeah. adds a lot more. Um, they become really important value. characters in season three. Also. You know, it seems like it's more realistic whenever mm-hmm. somebody moves and. You know, they don't get necessarily accepted into the group very soon. And then I also love Mm -hmm. the part where um, Eleven sees Max and Mike together in the gym. And she's, like, really mad. I love that part. Yeah, it's fun. It was pretty good. Um, I don't really have much to say on season two. It's, you know, it's not as good as season season three i don't think but it was still very good and i suggest you watch it but it it's wasn't probably actually um a romance that i think was introduced in this season and cut off at the end of this season was between uh, will's mom and bob oh bob i love bob oh yeah loved sorry he just bob. got <laughs> destroyed at the yeah end. I kind of didn't want Bob to go, um, until, like, the very end, because it was, like, one episode before. He was a good character. I would have loved if Bob went with Eleven and Hopper to the lab to close the gate, and then he died. He, like, got sucked into the gate. Yeah, I would have loved but that then, instead of... The only issue with that is that then Joyce wouldn't have been with him when he died. Yeah. Which was mildly important. Yeah, because then it wouldn't have been... It, then it would be like the end of season three where, mm-hmm. spoiler alert, Hopper dies, but it's not true because in the season four trailer, he's not dead. you see him. But... Right. And you could all oh, you could see him coming. You could see that part coming because yeah, anyone could. Because you, they're not gonna kill off a main character like that. You I know? mean, some shows, some shows have done that, but I don't think Stranger Things is that ballsy. I'm just no, saying. it will. I don't think it would result in the same thing because I feel like the eleven with a dad figure. I feel like that works really well for the story. But I feel like yeah, he'll. But I feel like he'll be the main storyline driver for season four because now everyone's separated and hopper's in russia yeah well they released uh, well they leaked um the season four episode names and like episode four out of like nine episodes or something or eight episodes i don't really recall but um number four is like together again or something like that. So oh. that implies that that yeah. could be Hopper, or that could be the gangs all back together. I think that the gangs all back together because then the next okay. one is like off to Russia or something. Uh, <laughs> it's very straightforward um, naming, but I mean maybe make it a little too. more confusing if you're gonna leak them. But it's yeah. fine. It's fine. Anyway, well, and then we're, it, I feel like okay. I also want to add in there. That why does it take so long for them to create one season? Because it's Truly. been, you know, it's been um, on July fourth they released. I understand it can take a while to edit, but why? That that show had been finished for like months, and they chose to release it on July fourth. Like, why do they make people wait? It's so stupid to build well, anticipation. They, you don't need to wait like three months to build anticipation. I'm just saying. 
Yeah. Well, and then, you know, if they've had since last, since they released it in July to start working on season four, but it's going to be released in 2021. Mm-hmm. But what? I feel like it takes, so, over a year and a half. I, yeah, it's fine. It's gonna be more, but um, we should we should probably move on to our next segment. Yeah, we can definitely move on to our next segment, and which is Urban Dictionary. It's Urban Dictionary. We love Urban, Urban Dictionary. Dictionary. What a good segment. Urban Dictionary. I love the new layout that we have. I feel like it's it a good works layout. very good. You know, with like the slides and everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah. for our first word, it's happy. Um, it's a top definition. Um, definition. Um, this passion is unique, and also related. In conclusion, you don't have it. Mm. Well, I'm actually happy today. Depression has entered the chat. Anxiety has entered the chat. So it's implying that you will not have happiness, and I find that interesting and kind of sad. Which is good for the definition of happy. Another to, one for it to for it to make you sad. Another one is Peppa, the best pig on this universe. She is TikTok famous and just dropped her first album on Spotify. She is seven foot one and fifteen years old. The example is Peppa. What are you doing on Urban Dictionary? By Peppa the God on August nineteenth, twenty nineteen. I'd like to point out how they spelled album. Yeah. Album? Album. Sure. Another one is help. What I need. Help. The example is, help me, man. I'm living in hell. Another By one is, Monica. Another Ooh. one is PewDiePie. It's the internet. Come on, you should know who PewDiePie is. If I could only speak. Why do we always have this problem? Okay, but that's pretty much it for Urban Dictionary. There's nothing very interesting today. It was very quick. Um, But I liked how Help was by Monica. Yes. Hayden Hayden will understand why that's funny. Yes, I do. Okay, random tidbits now. Now on to random tidbits. Our final segment for today, we have random tidbits for May 2nd. National Days. Well, May... We'll just keep going. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> National Life Insurance Day. National Start Seeing Monarchs Day. National Scrapbook Day. National Homebrew Day. I'm assuming that's homebrew coffee. Yes. Kentucky Derby. Join Actually, the Kentucky Day. Derby has been postponed till well September hands. 5th, but it was supposed to be May 2nd. Well, well, well. Join just Hands Day. Free, free Comic Book Day. National Fitness Day. National Truffle Day. Famous Birthday One. Charlie yeah, that, so this is for May 1st. I could not care less. About no, but it's very interesting because she's um, the number one most popular person on FamousBirthdays.com where we get all of this information. So mm-hmm. that's pretty interesting. Like I said, could not care less about her. Okay. But it's fine. Gianna Bryant, who would be turning 14, she died in a tragic helicopter accident that killed nine people, including her father, Kobe Bryant. Yes, no stuff. I'm not completely idiotic. Yes. And finally, uh, famous famous birthdays. birthdays for the second. We have Dwayne The Rock. Johnson, who's turning 48. He's not as elderly as I thought he was. No, I thought he was like either. 50. Same. Anyway, and we also have David Beckham, who's either turning 45 or he's currently 45. No, he's turning know. 45. Do you even know who David Beckham is, Hayden? Nope, no idea. Soccer player. He looks relatively familiar. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's probably, probably why. why. Because my brothers watch, my brother and dad are soccer people. Anywho. We will see you guys in the next episode. This has been a fun one. Yeah, a very fun one. Um, Mainly because of the planning. I hope you enjoy our Stranger Things segments. This one was less good because 
we probably didn't go into as much detail as we could have. For example, um, was is this the season where one innocent Russian guy was like, who didn't speak English, no. was with them? There's That's no the Russian season. guys in season two. So it's season three then. Yep. He didn't forget. He's such everything. a good character. Just, yeah. I know. I forget. It's because my brain just mixes it all up. It's like, ooh, 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 ooh. you know what I mean. I wish they could have saved Alexi. He's such a good character. But we can talk about that next episode. Yep. We will see okay. you guys then. Yep. Um, okay. happy reopening, I guess. But. Oh yeah, I suppose so. I suppose. I but... hope you don't contract Corona in the. Relapse, which is gonna happen. Yep, but okay. Bye.